I started uh, essentially in the cash register business. And then with each passing year, the retail price of that technology kept dropping. So it became apparent to me that the, uh, those that control the software uh, make the money. Our mission really was to try to hit a vertical market that was uh, a greenhouse horticulture industry. The business model we built as a company was trying to get um, intimate with our customers to be out at their sites and not uh, do what we call programming from the ivory tower. ProSoft came about uh, some number of years ago, about 20 years ago. We were selling primarily to uh, grain dealers, grain elevators, companies that are you know, re receiving product from farmers and processing it. After a period of time we moved from that and uh, went up, up the food chain, so to speak, into the commodity traders. You have to be able to modernize your application to remain relevant in the future. We're probably not as large of a company as our uh, competitors are, so we need development tools that can compensate for that. I'm not a big fan of do-it-yourself uh, other than for household chores. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. I don't need to control the whole process. I just need to work with it. We did a lot of research into the different aspects that we were going to do. Becoming a .NET shop was not as simple as we had thought. Uh, it required us bringing on some additional staff. Um, more expensive staff uh, than we had uh, we had here and, and we weren't able to take advantage of what we did well. Our first project was a PHP uh, based application that we were developing and then we, uh, we aborted that project after about uh, eight months and then we launched another initiative with, uh, within .NET and uh, ran into some similar, uh, some similar issues. In 2012, uh, we had subcontracted a project to an offshore company to develop a dispatch module in Java. The, the application looked good, but the hours and months that it took to build a one-screen application, given the scope of our application, uh, to, to redevelop that in Java was just wasn't, vi wasn't viable. We felt that uh, we couldn't really afford to, uh, to, de to delay we couldn't afford to uh, have the wrong start, have another false start. Uh, and we had Servoy um, with, the, with the complete solution right in front of us. As we moved to that new framework tool, which is Servoy, uh, the real benefit that our group found was that uh, the user interface and the back end was all going to be in the same environment. The ultimate dream is that is having that one environment. Another uh, you know, benefit that we see with the Servoy product is that it's, it's is taking advantage of the existing database that we have. A lot of our customers get nervous about their data and where's that going to go in this modernization uh, process and it's been very comforting for them and, and it really takes a load off of us is that we don't have to worry about that piece of it. During our, our initial uh, engagement with Servoy they, they insisted that we come up with a minimum viable product. What I had in mind was you know, a brand new shiny mobile application that we could deploy to our end users that would help us leapfrog ahead of our competition and provide uh, a utility that our competition is simply not there to do. They've helped us every step of the way and we're almost there. The AppSurance program with uh, Servoy really took that to another level for us. The AppSurance program uh, was a, it, it's, it's interesting because it's, it's unlike anything that I'd seen in the past. Um, it, is, uh, it, it really helps in uh, de-risking the project. I think without it, uh, we would have crashed and burned. They helped us with writing the user design experience, uh, documenting that information. And when we steered off the path, they helped us to get back on the path. A piece of advice that actually I got from Servoy clients was to get clients engaged in the process, our end users engaged in the process. And I think that that whole teamwork approach has really paid off big time. Even, you know, and more so, the, the, the big thing is we've got clients waiting in the wings to deploy this application. They just can't wait to get their hands on it. We basically said with Servoy, we want to see this built. Uh, we want to look at something and actually have our team work through it 
and our team was able to pick that up pretty quickly. Uh, so the proof of concept was, was that final decision for us. If I were uh, working with another partner uh, and that was in the need of modernization, I would have them uh, certainly you know, uh, educate themselves about uh, a variety of options, um, but I would challenge them to find a, a full service partner that has the tools and the program like AppSurance to be able to, uh, again, de-risk the project and accelerate the time to market. I think the alternative would, would have been uh, to have a team of consultants live in our office for six to eight months and I don't even know what the cost would have been. I mean, certainly much higher. I think it's just immeasurable how much that relationship was worth.